Hello everyone, in today's video we'll check out the random function. The random function adds randomness to any of the parameters on the zaps. The faders and potentiometers are used to set the range of variability for each of the controls. To enter the random menu we press the function and random. And now the screen will show you the randomization amount of any of the parameters. For example, if we would like to randomize the amplitude modulation amount, we simply move the knob and the left slider will show us the randomization amount, while the right slider will show us the range of randomization, which is bipolar. The same applies to the potentiometers on the top. For example, if we would like to randomize the pitch of the second VCO, we simply move the knob, the left slider will show us the amount of randomization, and the right slider will show us the range of randomization. You can also apply randomization to the second layer of the parameters. For example, if we would like to randomize the morph, we press the layer button and turn this slider. Once you have configured all the randomization values for each of the parameters inside of the random menu, you can exit it by pressing function button and then use the random slider over here to attenuate the total amount of randomness. A new randomization will occur each time that the slot is triggered. Now let's apply this to practice. I will start a sequence and we will start editing the random parameters. Let's adjust them all to maximum. Including the pitch of the oscillators. Now we can exit the random menu and use the random slider to slowly bring in the randomization. We can also randomize the second layer. That's all for this video. In the next episode, we'll check out the more functionality.